Today's a really exciting day for me, you guys. I get to upload my brand new album to the internet and I'm gonna show you exactly how I do that. I'm gonna be using distrokid.com in full disclosure mode. I will say this is a fully sponsored video by DistroKid, but that's okay because I was using them before they ever found me. So <laughs> I'm a big fan of their service, mostly because they don't collect any revenue. You get 100% of your royalties back through DistroKid. And it's just overall very good service, very good customer service, which is something that I have had trouble with with other companies that do this. Um, I will definitely tell you that the customer service, if something's wrong, uh, the people at DistroKid are very knowledgeable and very good at helping you, you know, wade through a multitude of problems that can happen when you're doing this. Um, but hopefully, fingers crossed, I'm doing it right. So. Anyway, let's get right to it. So the first thing, obviously, I spent all day yesterday, if you're wondering why my video didn't come out yesterday, it's because I was sitting here mastering every single one of those songs. 17 songs, 17 songs. Uh, a couple of them got remixed, a couple of them, um, well, a bunch of them got remixed and everything got properly mastered. So that was about a 10 hour day. Actually, I think it was closer to 11, um, but it was a long day of mastering. So right now, let me just show you. Here they all are. There are some arrangement changes in these mixes. If you watched the original videos that came out on Mondays for the last 17, in, sorry, 19 weeks, um, the mixes are better and a few of the arrangements have been tweaked just because like after the fact I was like oh I could do this and I could do that later on and, and I have done that so I'm really happy with the material I'm really happy with the songs so one thing I wanted to discuss with you before you go ahead and upload everything one thing that I did yesterday that did pop up a few problems with my mastering just little tiny details like maybe I forgot to click a button but I mastered everything had it all in one file and then I dragged every single one of those tracks out and put them into GarageBand. And then I just visually inspected the waveforms. When I did that, there were two that were glaringly wrong. They were just way too low. And that's because I had the constant gain monitoring button on my mastering plugin, uh, which I use when I'm mastering so I can make adjustments without the volume actually going up and down in my room. I can just sit there and read the meters. Sometimes I forget to disengage that button. And so the mixes will come out like super small compared to the other ones. So that was just something I bumped into yesterday that I was like, you know what, I should mention that in the video. So make sure you do drag your final masters in to GarageBand, an empty project, and just visually inspect them before you spit them out, okay? So um, here they all are, 17 tracks. Ah, so exciting. So here we are up on distrokid.com and we're gonna hit the upload button and we're just, I'm just gonna show you how it's done, you guys. All right, so here's the list of places where it's all gonna go. I'm just gonna say, do it all. I don't care, I want them everywhere. It's another very nice thing about DistroKid is that they pretty much cover every single place that will sell and play your music on the internet, which is really awesome, right? So I need to tell how many songs, which is going to be 17 previously released. No, except for one. And this is me, Lewin Beringer the third. And release date is, we'll just call it uh, today. That's fine. Record labels, Garage Band and Beyond. Okay, choose image. Now, as far as album artwork goes, I know a lot of you guys don't have Photoshop or Illustrator. So I did just quickly want to talk about the fact that there's a website called canva.com, which you're looking at right now. Sign up here. It's totally free and you can make all sorts of great designs really simply, download it, and it's just done. Everything is sort of figured out. The size, the dimensions, everything is done. Um, it makes life so much easier, especially for me. Like I, I just make simple little cover art, um, which is, this is what the album cover is gonna look like, right? One day, Lou and Baring or Garage Band and Beyond, nice and simple, I took an image from one of the videos, no big deal. Um, artwork to me on an album is becoming not as important as it used to be, right? I mean, obviously. Artwork used to be a lot more important, um, but I, I think nice and simple. This is classic looking thing. So anyway, here we go. I made that on Canva. Now, DistroKid. So here we are, we want it here, and it's in my downloads folder. So I'm just gonna grab it here. I'm gonna drop it here. Sorry, that file won't work. Here's why the file must be a JPG. Okay, good. So we found problem number one. Okay, so as I was saying, sometimes you bump into these little problems. So I'm gonna just go ahead and uh, let's see, let's change this, export this, and we're gonna export this as a JPEG. 
because that's what it needs to be. And it's going to end up on my desktop, which is totally fine. And okay, so now it's there. So let's go look for it. Uh, okay, got, got it. So I found it and we're going to grab it here. And I'm going to drop it here. Ha ha, there we go. Okay, so um, that was nice and easy. Album title is One Day, okay? And album price, let's stick it at $9.99 because that's the standard. We are in English. Primary is uh, English and, oh, primary genre. Here we go. Ooh, this is tough because I don't have a primary genre on this album. So I'm just going to call it, uh, I wish it was like, um, I don't know. We'll say rock. And we'll check the second one, which is singer and songwriter, which is relatively right. I mean, these definitions, I'm sure you understand what I'm about to say. These standard old definitions really just don't apply anymore. Uh, I'm not just a rock artist or a pop artist or a punk artist. I mean, I could easily choose punk for a couple of these songs or uh, maybe not so much metal, but um, I could put... There's a few options up here for me, but I'm just going to choose these two because, I don't know, I don't think it's that... Uh, important. Um, all right, so let's look at track title one. This is going to be somewhat long and drawn out because there are 17 tracks. So we're going to just, I'm just going to set them up alphabetically. I used to give, a, like, I used to put a ton of effort into a sequencing of an album, but it just doesn't um, matter anymore because people buy singles. So I just don't really do that. <laughs> uh, so I'm going to add in my name here. Oops, of course, I spelled it wrong. And that is my middle name there. Now you all know I have a middle name and it is Bennett. Track price is going to be 99 cents as always. Oh my gosh, how awesome is that? Okay, so basically I'm going to sit here and do this and I will probably edit it out exactly who you are to me. Music and lyrics, it's all me. Yep. Autofill. Let's just do that and no lyrics and audio file. Oh, I got to choose the audio file. Duh. Okay. So I got to choose this audio file. I'm going to go into here. Okay. I'm, I'm going to dump my middle name on that. All right. So now let's do song number two here. And that is, uh, oh, that's track one. What just happened? What track is this? Record label, one day, doing nothing, right? And I uploaded the song. Oh, there it is, okay. So exactly who you are to me. Yes, I wrote it, 99 cents. Yes, choose file, exactly who you are to me. Um, all right, so we're just gonna go down this and do them all. And I will see you in a little bit when I'm done doing this. So I just bumped into something that I thought was worth mentioning to you guys. If any of the songs that you write or plan on releasing are written by you and somebody else, there is an option on DistroKid to add another songwriter to the thing. So in this case, um, I'm just going to say Hezekiah Jones for this one, because uh, that is what I believe he would want me to put. And hi, Hezekiah Jones. Great artist. If you haven't heard Hezekiah Jones's music, please do that. He writes incredible songs. It was a total honor to have him in here in the studio and help me on Honk Your Horn. Um, so anyway, that's that. Now I'm going to go down and I got, uh, looks like I got about uh, uh, 11. Looks like I have 11 more songs to upload or do this part. So I'm going to cut here and uh, I'll talk to you in a minute. All right, so one more song to do here. And let's see, that song is going to be Never Ever Let Your Woman Down, one of my favorite songs. Never ever let your woman down, which is also very good advice, guys. Don't let your women down. They are awesome. Women are the best, if you're into women, of course. <laughs> um, but women are awesome. Women are awesome. Let's just leave it at that. I love women. Uh, let's see, all right. Here you go, last song, woohoo! Okay, good. Now, let's look at these extras down here, okay? So there are a few different services that they do offer, and I wanted to talk about that a little bit. These are extras, optional, but not awesome, right? So Instagram and Facebook, which is free, add this album to Instagram's music and stories, which lets Instagram users easily add your music to their posts. By checking this box, your music may also become available to other Instagram and Facebook products, which will hopefully be cool and or 
useful and or profitable for you. Which means that, you know, if somebody does want to use your music on Facebook or Instagram, they have the ability to do that and um, you will be compensated for it in some way. Uh, so I'm going to use that. And let's see. Um, okay, so YouTube money, YouTube ad revenue from matches we detect. Uh, that's $14.95 a year. I'm pretty well protected because I'm already a YouTube partner and a Google partner, um, and they are tracking my material because it's already been uploaded to the site, or up to my channel, uh, rather. So I'm going to say no to that because I don't think I really need it. Store Maximizer. Distro Kid, and this is $7.95 a year, Distro Kid will automatically deliver this album to new online stores and streaming services as we add them, which is often. We'll give you notice each time we add the album to a new service. So, that, I mean, that should be self-explanatory. If a new player or store online comes up, they will do that. I'm not too concerned with it because I don't think anybody really buys anything from except from like iTunes or Spotify. Um, most people try to steal music, which is, you know, let's not get into that. I don't like that. Shazam and iPhone Siri make it easy for people to identify this album if they hear it. Playing on radio, TV stores, restaurant parties, etc. 99 cents per track. Uh, uh, I'm going to say no to that. Uh, leave a legacy. Um, DistroKid will never delete this album from stores due to lapsed DistroKid membership, da 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 And if you die, you can always choose to delete it. <laughs> even, oh, even if you die, it's not if you die. Uh, I'm going to say, no, I'm not going to leave a legacy there. All right, so we've gone through the extras, and I'm only going to choose Instagram and Facebook. Uh, let's see, I did not. I saw important checkboxes. I recorded this music, and I'm authorized to store it. Yes, I did. I am not using any other artist's name, no, although that's not exactly true. I have read that, and I'm going to just do it this way. Um, <laughs> uh, and I'm also going to collect all royalties. Yeah. Okay, good. So I think I'm good here. All this stuff is done. 17 done. I will say, um, oh, I didn't click everything. Make sure you did everything right and check these boxes. I selected YouTube Music as a store, so I won't email DistroKid later asking, why did you upload my, okay. <laughs> oh, okay, because so YouTube Music was one of the things at the very top, I suppose. Um, oh, I spelled my wife's name wrong. Thank God I noticed that before. And let's just go do a quick double check on spellings here because, you know, you want to get this right the first time, obviously. Uh, this all looks good. 17 songs, Apple Music, da 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 YouTube, it's going to be there too. Actually, you know what? Come to think of it, I probably should not have YouTube selected here. Oh, it, I, mm, hmm, that's odd. Um, all right, maybe it's a Google thing? No? Spotify, Apple Music, uh, Google Play, and YouTube Music. Mm, I'm going to take that off, okay? Google Play and YouTube Music. I don't know if... Well, I'm going to undo that because I don't want these songs popping up somewhere else besides GarageBand and beyond. So I'm going to undo that. Um, Google Play, sorry you guys, but I think you should be able to find my songs on Google Play anyway because of my YouTube channel. So now I don't have to check that box at the bottom and it's gone. Okay, so done. I'm done. And so now we're just going to sit here and watch it upload tracks. Now I will say me filling out all of that information for 17 tracks took me a total of maybe eight minutes. Not too bad for 17 songs. One thing I don't really like about this is that I have to type my name in every single time. I get it. I understand. I think I comprehend the reasoning behind that, but I do wish that there was some sort of option like, hey, did the one artist write every single song? Um, and then yes, and I can say yes. And if in the case of some of these songs, I was writing with someone, I would be able to, you know, manually change that in that individual track, but it's not an option. So DistroKid guys, if you are watching this at all, um, just keep that in mind. It wouldn't be a terrible thing if I didn't have to, you know, in this case, write my name 17 times. And in fact, I think it was 18. But so DistroKid is a great company, you guys. It's very affordable, right? Um, and I will say their rates do change from time to time, so I'm not going to quote you an exact number right now. Um, 
because, you know, services change and this video will be up forever. But check it out. DistroKid.com, very good website. A lot of people use it. A lot. I mean, I don't know anybody that doesn't use it. I think most of my friends that used to use like things like CD Baby have now migrated over to DistroKid for the 100% the royalty coming back thing. That's huge. That's a huge deal that you get 100% of your money back. Um, and as you can see, their website's nice and fast. I do have, you know, decent speed internet here. If you're somewhere overseas and watching how fast these .wav files are loading up, I'm sure you're jealous. I have been in those countries where the internet is super slow and doing something like this would take hours, whereas you can see this will take just a few minutes. Um, DistroKid, great customer service, totally affordable, 100% of your royalties back, it's what I've been using for several years, even before they reached out and said, hey, we noticed that you use DistroKid and have a YouTube channel if you'd ever like to do a sponsored video. And I said, yes, um, as ever, as as always, when I do these sponsored videos for you guys, the agreement with the companies is that I get to say whatever I want about their service. If it's gonna be like a huge slam, like if I, I'm not gonna diss anybody here on my channel, that's not something I'm interested in doing. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'm just gonna give honest reviews, but if something is genuinely not worth like me even talking about it. I, I just don't want to like go around and like hurting people's businesses. Maybe, you know, it's because I'm a nice guy or maybe it's because I think it's bad YouTubing. Um, I just don't want to do that. So anyway, full disclosure, sponsored video, but I do like their website. I do like the service. It's really quick and it's really good. Now, if you have made it all the way to the end of this video, let's talk about the giveaway that I wanted to do. I'm uploading this video right now and I'm going to start traveling on Sunday. So I'm taking a week off um, and this is the end of season nine here on GarageBand and beyond. So uh, we will be starting back up in January with season 10. Unbelievable. S season 10, that's even a crazy thing to say. Um, I'm sure that, you know, like the Simpsons felt the same thing when they're like, season 10. <laughs> um, but anyway, um, yeah, so I hope you guys have enjoyed season nine. Anyway, the giveaway, the giveaway, let's talk about that. If you're here at this point, good for you because you're gonna have an even better chance of actually winning the prize. So I haven't decided what the prize is yet, but it's gonna be good and maybe I'll sort of cater it to the person that wins. Um, but whoever figures out that this album is for sale and ready to rock online and sends me an email with some sort of image that you either purchased one track or the whole album, I don't care. Um, you know, if you, you show me like, hey, look, I got your song and I did it this day. The very first person to do that you are going to win something. Like I said, haven't decided exactly what it is, um, but it's gonna be good, I guarantee it. It'll be something you're like, that's awesome. I bought you know, a 99 cent song and now I have this box of stuff or this instrument or whatever. Like I said, haven't decided. I have a lot of things I could give away. I just have to figure out exactly um, you know, how it's gonna work, where you are in the country or in the world, it might be different. So send that email to garagebandandbeyond at gmail.com and I will get it at some point and I'll let you know, hey, you were the first person to, to buy something from the album and uh, you are now the winner. So I know it's a little bit of like <laughs> serves me well, but it's also going to it's also going to help me um, know while I'm traveling. Oh, hey, the thing's on iTunes and now I can promote it and stuff because I don't you know, when I'm traveling, I'm not constantly on my phone or in front of my computer checking everything. Um, but anyway, I definitely want to say thank you to DistroKid, A, for sponsoring the video. Um, thank you very much, guys, for believing in GarageBand and beyond. And B, I do want to thank them also for just for making an awesome service for musicians like you and me. Something that's easy to use, great customer service, and I'm going to keep talking about that because it is really good customer service. And if you've dealt with websites in the past and you've needed good customer service and you got basically no or terrible customer service, you understand how wonderful and valuable good customer service is, right? Um, so I think that's pretty much it, you guys. We are at track 11. I've just sort of been talking here, hoping that it would all finish up in time, but it didn't. I, I think I'm just yakking away. So you guys have an amazing Christmas. Happy New Year to everybody. I'm really looking forward to season 10. I have tons of stuff planned. I'm gonna be doing a new recording series. I'm gonna be having more guests here in the studio. We're gonna be talking about songwriting. We're gonna be doing microphone reviews, guitar reviews from Recording King again, and um, all sorts of fun things to look forward to for you and for me and uh, here on GarageBand and Beyond. 
big, gigantic thank you to the patrons on my Patreon page because they are absolutely positively the people who are keeping this channel alive. I don't know if you've noticed, but the views are dropping here, even though I'm trying harder than I've ever tried. I haven't quite figured it out. Um, but I'm just going to keep plugging away because I love making YouTube videos. I love helping people understand how to record music at home on GarageBand. I love telling you guys that GarageBand is equally good sounding. Sounds exactly like Pro Tools, sounds exactly like Logic, sounds exactly like any other DAW. Uh, we're talking about zeros and ones people here, you know, like zeros and ones don't have tone. What has tone is your room, your monitors, your microphones, your instruments, right? Those are the real differences in uh, what makes a great recording or not. So um, it's not the DAW. It's not the DAW, you guys. If you know how to use GarageBand, it will serve you well. If your mixes don't sound good in GarageBand, it's not GarageBand's fault, it's your fault. <laughs> right um so pretty basic stuff there oh track 14 we're getting there anyway you guys have an awesome awesome holiday thank you so much for watching i genuinely appreciate it and um, i will see you next year all right peace and love